Okay, let's continue on with this problem. You see the problem up top, of course, and now we're moving on to the next entry, which is labeled entry E. And this is the entry that will record the excess am amortization for 2013 based on the allocations in useful lives. So we're recording depreciation expense and then the amortization expense. And of course, we need to re to, to do this, we're writing down the fair value of the contracts in buildings. Okay, next we're going to tackle the last two to three entries. And so let's look at entry TI and G. TI is our elimination of intra-entity inventory transferred during 2013. Okay, I call these profit and inventory. Uh, that was a term we used at Motorola when I was with them. So what we've got to do is debit sales and credit cost of sales for the 28,000 of sales uh, that took place during 2013. Then entry G, we, on entry G, we have to remove the unrealized gross profit from the ending account balances. So we know there was a 40% gross profit rate. So if we take 11.2 divided by 28,000 and multiply it by the remaining 14,000, we're able to come up with $5,600. Okay? Now, then the final entry uh, that we've got to look at is accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation, and let me slide this up a little bit so we can see the explanation as well. Okay, uh, we need to eliminate the excess depreciation on the equipment that was recorded at the transfer price. Now remember that the expense is reduced uh, from the recording amount, which was 3,200 or 16,000 divided by five. And we've got adjusted by the historical cost fixture with fixture cost figure which was uh, $2,002 which is 10,600 divided by 5. So the last entry is essentially to uh, reduce uh, the stepped up value on the depreciation expense. And that takes care of this problem with all its transactions. Now remember Part B uh, was the illustration of the uh, non-controlling interest and we all we previously calculated that okay we calculated that as part of our transaction entry I where we remove the intercompany income recorded by the parent okay so let me slide back down to show those last three entries and that's this problem everyone I hope you found that beneficial